Welcome, Internet Individuals. This is going to be a video about self-care. So I am going to be doing a Korean skincare uh, kind of facial. I'm going to end with a face mask, and then we're going to uh, dip into some Tomb Raider with uh, the downloadable content while we're play while we're waiting for our sheet mask to to uh, whatchamacallit. So this is going to be a part of uh, I don't know, maybe my self-care series, all right? Because self-care is 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 important. I don't really like the term, the connotation that it's kind of taken on recently, uh, but just chillaxing is important every now and then, especially if you've got a lot going on consistently. Uh, and whatever way makes you feel most relaxed is how to do that. Um, Self-care should also probably not necessarily be bad for you, so I don't really think you could classify getting drunk every night as self-care. Um, just want to throw that out there. So, getting into it, uh, this is my Korean skincare routine. I actually have a uh, low pH cleanser that I use in uh, the morning, on days that I shower in the morning. Uh, and then I won't like wash my face, wash my face in the evening. I instead use one of these uh, cleansing sheets. They are not makeup removing sheets, they are uh, cleansing facial cloths. Um, I don't actually wear makeup, so I don't know how they work with makeup. But uh, this is a collagen formula. I have another package of these that is the retinol formula, but because I am using a retinol mask tonight, I thought that I would just use the collagen formula ones. I try to use, I switch off every other night. I use one collagen, one retinol. You can't really see it on this camera because this is only a 720p cheap uh, webcam. You know, I've had it forever, which by the way, thank you, webcam. I love you. Thanks for being awesome and lasting forever. Um, I've had it forever, but so you cannot see that on my cheeks I actually have terrible, terrible, terrible uh, acne scars and pits from when I had horrible acne and I used to pick it and pop it and be terrible at it. The reason I don't have acne anymore is because of Curology. Oh, legit. Um, this, by the way, also isn't sponsored. Oh, my hair has just fallen out over here. You know what? I'm actually going to take this moment to go... We'll make it smaller in a moment. Uh, but this is not sponsored. Curology is what I use. I get my own little bottle, and then it's got my prescription right on the back of it there um, and they're not kidding when they say like two pumps let us go like this uh, and I never actually used to take care of my skin very well before I started using Curology because I had tried hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different things but nothing worked. Uh, washing my face, uh, using moisturizers, using creams, using masks, all of those things, using scrubs, uh, exfoliators, made my acne worse. Um, my husband can attest to that. We, we tried so many things. None of them worked. <laughs> Now that the screen is bigger also, this is the pack that I use. The other pack that I have looks identical to this, only uh, it says retinol instead of collagen. Um, and there's a lot of sheets in here. Like I said, I alternate back and forth between the two of them, and this has lasted me freaking forever. <coughs> this is toner. And I do put this on after the Curology 
because my face feels really dry. I don't pat this in. I don't use a, a cloth or anything to dab it. I literally just spritz it on my face and then I let my face soak it in, which is almost instantly. Like there's no moisture down here on this side. The only place I really feel it anymore is right here. So actually, in fact, I'm gonna go in with a second spritz because that was super fast that it dried up. While that's drying, I don't have anything special that I put on my lips. Uh, I just use chapstick. I probably should get something special to put on my lips because my lips are always chapped. I am constantly applying chapstick. I like the classic, the original one. I don't really like any of the weird flavors or scents. I do like cool scented and flavored chapsticks, but at the same time I don't like wearing them because they're usually cheap, cheap quality or they usually have coconut in them and I'm allergic to coconut. So yeah. All right, now that that is dried, up. Oh. Turn that on. What? Turn that light on? No. Oh. Thank you, though. Yeah. Now that that is dried up, I'm going to go ahead and use my, this is the Midnight Calming Blue Drop, the Midnight Blue Calming Drop. Um, all of this is from Wish Trend. All of it's from, what? Oh. Oh. I mean, you're not naked, so you can walk through this recording now. My skin also just sucks that right up. Readjust our kitty headband here. Oh no, no, there's a hair on me. <laughs> Alright, and I now would normally just put on my moisturizer, which is uh, the lotion uh, pair to this, um, but I am instead going to do the sheet mask. Oh, righty. Oh, this smells so gorgeous. Oh my god. The smell is bringing back like a wave of nostalgic memories. It's very moist. Like it is just dripping down my neck. Oh, I'm gonna put my little nose flap down. Doop. Boop. Extend it out so that it covers my whole nose because I got kind of a yaho nose. Oh no. The nose part tore because it's so moist and sensitive. There we go. There's that little part that tore there that's not covered, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, the poor tip of my nose won't be moisturized. Oh well, I'll look like Rudolph. Alrighty. Super excited about this. I'm gonna go rinse my hands.
All right, sorry. Uh, rinsed my hands and I fixed the nose area a little bit. All right, we're gonna shrink back down. Ooh. <laughs> and unmute the game, so. Let's see what's blanking in our marketplace. Ooh, we have guests. to load. for playing like out loud or online, right? I've never actually played online, I'm not gonna lie. On Laura's adventure, combat will be easier. A good balance of difficulty, combat has aim assistance disabled. Enemies have normal health and damage. Seasoned Raider. Challenging combat experience. You know what, let's just go with a regular Tomb Raider. We're, we're trying to do self-care, we're trying to relax. What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience? To <laughs> face the unknown. As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money is going to get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's going to be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here, with them. Not a chance. Okay, sorry, that's not going to work. You, Laura. Take my hand. Thanks. Look at that. It's <coughs> amazing. But the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. Look 
The trail trying... leads up the mountain. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. All right. Let's take it easy here. I was trying to make it so that I could turn. This wind is crazy. Uh, we just need to keep moving. My left hand part. Right. Hey, <laughs> even if we don't find anything up here, your dad would be proud. But that's I not know, okay. but I have a good feeling about this. Because of the way the recording is set up, I have a display capture instead of actually capturing just the video. Oh, shit! <coughs> you okay? Lost my footing. I'm fine. So every time I tap out so that I can turn the left hand off. At most. Should be enough time. We're almost to the top. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just his last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. Stay there! I'll anchor a line for you at the top! 
to the left. It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. 
An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. The gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was unwell. No. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb. Hey, we're heading into a war zone now. We better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. Supposed to shoot at us. Get us out of here! Shit! Shit! No! No! No!
research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. These are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople, unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. It's the Prophet, speaking with a foreign army. He convinced them to lay down their weapons. here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mention this. Hmm, my Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. Oh my challenge two relics four documents need two more murals and three whole okay. ashes. that is one of the murals yeah yeah most of them He led his followers through the desert, to the oasis.
Order of Trinity pursued the Prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. My stats are probably with scorpions too because I am that hard over. Don't ask someone to build yourself on a spear. Damn it. Come on. Religious pilgrims. The Order of Trinity. Sorry. The Prophet slain by the Order of Trinity. Man, Trinity, what's your name? My son. The Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? No, oh, sure. That'd be a big fail. Yeah, fuck it. Gift of arms. Gift of game vision. Oops. Nothing else in this chamber. Damn it. That was too close. That was, <laughs> that was terrifying. They're blasting their way in. Stunning. 
We made it, Dad. Gorgeous. Fix my hair after all that. She's like, well, hurry up, I'm going to. Alright, well, we can start by going like this. Alright, well, we got there. Okay, that'll probably go somewhere. My lord, what you say is impossible. I myself drove a spear into the Prophet's heart. I saw him die. Doubtless his people have propped another man up in the slain Prophet's robe to continue his lies. They are broken, discredited, and exiled. We will head south and put the rest of his people to the sword. But the Prophet is dead. This I swear. He swears. Alright, this help Jack make sure. No, we didn't miss anything. No, not gonna be. Not like that. to analyze, you know, etc. etc. Oh, oh, shit! Oh! Just jumped up instead of jumping over. I couldn't just do like a plane, but yeah, that's fine. Nothing on the wall. 
bombs. Got to raise the water. Yeah, you. My lord, I ride at the head of a small army of the faithful, armed and ready. And I have good news. We have located the tomb of the Prophet. We were attacked by madmen upon the road, wearing the Prophet's livery, but they were easily bested. We allowed one to flee and followed him back to the oasis. Whether the Prophet escaped death, or whether another now wears his mantle, it does not matter. All will perish inside, and it will become a tomb at last. All right, well. See any of them dangling thingies? Find a way to raise the water. Charges! The Prophet's tomb. After all this time. And the artifact? Inside. God willing.
Open it. Carefully. It could be extremely dangerous. Who the hell are you? You're a smart woman. I suspect you already know. Trinity. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me! You led us to this place. Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. Laura! There's so much I need to tell you, I don't... Did you find the Prophet's tomb? Yes, but I was followed. What? By who? They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. What the hell is going on here? You're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty, but I think they were looking for the divine source. The, the artifact your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in a tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here, in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would, it would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Are you listening to yourself? Jonah. We've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katash. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. 
If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. Divine source is real. We've got to find it first. Siberia it is then. officially been an hour of gameplay. My mask is finished. I believe that was. Well, you know, I'm gonna save just in case. But, but you know. All right. Okay, going back to the menu here. We're gonna blow this back up again. Because for the final part of our uh, self-care video game hour, <laughs> we're going to use our fundamental eye butter. Uh, I love this stuff. I don't know anybody who uses it who doesn't love it, honestly. Um, yeah, that will make sense, because why would you use it if you don't like it? Duh. But I'll need a little bit. I'll need a little bit underneath the eyes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, it just feels so good. So refreshing. 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 Refreshing my flesh. Refreshing. Refleshing. There you go. Whatever. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, there you have it. It's my skincare routine, my evening skincare routine. Uh, and now I'll go read, and then before I fall asleep, fall asleep, like literally before my eyes close, I will put on my ginseng ice, I, my ginseng eye cream, and I put on, again, just I literally only have to dab my finger into it, and I go like that, and with, between both my fingers, I put it on my eyes, and it's the perfect amount, um, and yeah, and my face feels wonderfully moisturized, it does not burn or anything weird like that. 
Uh, I also, my face doesn't feel sticky, it just feels soft. You ever put on like skincare and then your face feels sticky afterwards and you're like, oh, this is weird. Yeah. Um, because uh, the mask was not a moisturizer though, and because I didn't put on a moisturizer, I am going to put on just a tiny dollop of uh, this Claire's Rich, <laughs> Rich Moist Soothing Cream. Woo! Apparently at the end of video game hour, I can't speak anymore, so... just so that way my skin does have an actual moisturizer on it. Um, and the reason I use this one is because it's so light. It absorbs right away into my skin. And then also, not that there really ever is any extra because my skin just kind of uh, absorbs it all, sucks it all in. <laughs> But if there ever is any, I can rub it into my hands afterwards and it doesn't feel weird and gross on my hands. So thank you, my lovely internet individuals, um, for joining me in this self-care hour of video games and Korean skincare. Uh, yeah, that is that is how I relax. Sometimes if I'm really super feeling relaxing, I'll set myself up a bubble bath with my with my, uh, whatchamacallit, my laptop, and, and I'll sit in the bath for, for like a good while with a, with a bath bomb. Uh, I used to make my own bath bombs. Uh, they're really easy to make. I still do make my own bath bombs every once in a while. I'll make like a nice big batch. Uh, but I've stuck to making them mostly only in winter because we get really, 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 really humid summers here. Um, there's no point making them in summer because they just absorb all the moisture and then they just sink like rocks to the bottom of the bath and they don't fizz. They still smell nice, I suppose. But anyway, have a wonderful evening, Internet individuals. I am going to go lay down and start reading for the evening uh, and then probably fall asleep because we have to be up relatively early tomorrow for the day of turkey. Have a wonderful night.